September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and this morning, Dr. Ziad Schwinn and Judge Michael Nelson are teaming up with the very same goal, and that goal is to get more men, especially black men, talking about their health. Gentlemen, first of all, thank you for, for coming in. It's always good to talk about prostate cancer because it's kind of like breast cancer in women. I mean, it's so prevalent in men. And, and, and especially black men. Talk about that, doctor. Absolutely. You know, uh, prostate cancer disproportionately affects African Americans. Uh, African Americans are more likely to get it. They're more likely to get it at an earlier age. And they're also less likely to seek care for it. And a lot of it has to do with their access to care and also awareness. What are some of the things that you look for, though? I mean, that's, that's the thing about prostate cancer. You, you, you can walk around and not even know you have it, right? You don't feel it. You don't feel it, yeah. Exactly. And, that, and that's the, the thing about prostate cancer screening and why it's so important. Okay. If you start having symptoms from prostate cancer, usually it's beyond the point where we can cure it. So mm. it's too late. That's why screening is so important to catch it earlier, a lot easier to handle and cure. Talk about symptoms, though. What are the symptoms that, that, yep. that would indicate that you're in trouble? Well, if you, if you start to have bone pain, bad urinary symptoms, blood in the urine. These are signs maybe that you have more advanced prostate cancer. Wow. But the most, the majority of prostate cancers you don't have any symptoms from. And that's why a blood test, the PSA test, PSA is so important. Test. Judge Nelson, your story, man, when did you, you even find out you had prostate cancer? I went in for my routine physical. Okay. And I'd normally be getting, had, had been getting checked. Right. Um, you PSA did that once check. or twice a year? Oh, once a year. Once a year, okay. And uh, uh, I went in for my hip replacement. Okay. And as they were doing the blood test, they tested me for, tested my, to check for my PSA, and it was higher. It had gone up to about seven. And it was, it was seven? Yep. Yeah. Which is not very, I mean, that's yeah. high, but it's not, I've heard no, no. people having a lot of higher PSA. Yeah. Yeah. And it was the right. change. It had yeah. spiked. Oh, yeah, right. okay, right. So okay. In a short period of time. Right. Yeah. And see, mine was under the limit, and then it spiked over a four-year period. So now, I when said, you talk hey. about that PSA, what, what should it be normally? Well, you know, usually it's below four, but based on younger men, it could be even a lower cutoff, so closer to three. Okay. So it's, it kind of depends on your age. Okay. So you found out you had it, but what was the next step? Then after that, we went to see the urologist, had a biopsy done. Uh, the biopsy uh, found the, the, two, the two lesions, the two areas. Mm -hmm. And after that, I sat down with uh, Dr. Schwinn and some other, Dr. Haygood, and we started talking about options. Yeah. yeah and yeah. fortunately, because... I had been getting regular checkups. Mine was at such a low level that they had, we had a number of options. Yeah, a number. And, and talk about the options for treating prostate cancer. Well, uh, the two most common treatments are surgery, where we do a robotic surgery to remove the prostate, or radiation. Uh, but we have newer treatment options. Uh, at the Cleveland Clinic, uh, we do one treatment called HIFU, which is a focused ultrasound ablation. And that's what you had? That's what I had. Now, what is right. that? Well, it's where we do an ultrasound ablation of focal therapy as opposed to treating the entire prostate. We just ablate where the cancer is located. So you just deal with where the cancer is, not the entire prostate? Correct. Right. But the, other, other, the others are the whole prostate? The others are the whole, whole gland treatments. Mm -hmm. And, and they're, they're effective. Okay. You know, the, the main surgery and radiation. Yeah. HIFU is a newer option and that we're offering it to select men. Why? So meaning that you have to have a low PSA count? Well, you have to have cancer located in just one part. Okay. You can't have right. high risk prostate cancer. Okay. It's perfect for men with intermediate risk okay. that we should treat and that's, that's what the judge Why has. is that such a good treatment option? Well, it's a good option for, for some men uh, and it's good because there's fewer side effects. But, you know, there's a trade-off. The trade-off is we have to keep watching the rest of your prostate, and there's a higher chance of recurrence compared to surgery or radiation. Yeah. But the trade-off is fewer side effects. Well, real quickly, well, what's, what's the plea to, 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 to men prostate cancer awareness month? What, what's, what's the plea, Judge? Fellas, I need you to get checked. It's not that difficult. And don't worry about the, the digital rectal thumb up mm -hmm. your behind mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a blood test. The blood and test. see, most men re, re, react because yeah. they think about their digital. Mm -hmm. But it's the blood test. Mm -hmm. It's a simple test. It's not evasive. And it can, you can avoid a lifetime of problems. That's right. Okay. Thank you, guys. Wish we had more time to talk about it because it's a very important subject, no doubt about Absolutely. that. Most men don't even like going to the doctor, which is a shame. <laughs> yeah. right. Thank you. Appreciate you guys, man.